Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the Century League. Here are previews week 11. Three games left in the season, guys. Most everybody plays three. Well, after this week, anyway, we'll play two divisional games, and a lot will be on the line. We'll start this with the Bears and my Packers. Uh, Packers 6-4, and four, Bears 5-4-1. Four, four and one. Uh, Big trade this week. Uh, uh, Ron's Bears got uh, Dak and Cooper. Uh, well, I hope he banks on that because uh, – uh, Dak, Cooper, and Cobb, he's going to live or die by them. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, Michael Gallup uh, on the Packers uh, is the one that scores the most points there uh, with wide receivers. Uh, and then uh, uh, other than that, my bunch plays uh, a bunch of easy teams in uh, Miami and Cincinnati. So uh, I hope I win that one. I'm favored by a couple of points. I think the Bears are favored by a couple of points. Uh, uh, actually, uh, but uh, I'm going to take my Packers in this one by about five points. Moving on, uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about the standings in a minute. Big game, NFC game of the week, in my opinion, the Rams and the Cowboys, Harsh Rams, Billy's Boys, both four and six. Uh, the reason this game is important as it is is because the winner of this game goes to five and six. And if the Hawks lose, uh, Johnny's Hawks lose to Amber's Cards this coming week, uh, uh, the Hawks are going to go to seven and four, and uh, the real winner would go to five and six out of the Rams and Dallas, and uh, that would be a two-game difference with uh, them facing those teams, their uh, divisional foes going forward. So, I know the Rams and Dallas both. Uh, are not thinking they're going to be able to win the division, but there is a mathematical chance with the team that wins. Game of the week, uh, Rams and Dallas. I'm going to have to go with Rams running back tandem of Gordon Fournette and Ronald Jones this week. Uh, again, winner goes to five and six. And if the Hawks win, they clinch the division. Uh, if the Hawks lose, uh, we've still got a race there. Uh, so Amber's going to play spoiler this week. Uh, she's got a five-point favorite in this game uh, going into it. So uh, uh, Hawks have a lot to lose, um, and that is a great game to watch too. Uh, moving on, the dog of the week is the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New York Giants. It's a 60-point difference in this game. Uh, I've talked to David. He's fired up. He'll be back. He's going to make adjustments uh, next year. Uh, he is playing. David is playing in the spoiler category the rest of the way, line them up uh, uh, there, um, David, and try to spoil somebody's uh, season. Uh, moving on, the AFC game of the week is Cleveland and New England. Cleveland is uh, Browns are five, four, and one. Cody's team, Joshua's team, New England Pat Patriots are five and five. A half game difference here. Uh, New England's looks like there is a pretty even game, but I think New England's going to pull this one out. Uh, they both play the remainder of the season, the Colts and the Steelers. So, you know, you're looking forward, both of those teams like, oh, we're playing some of the weaker teams in the league. But watch out, somebody's going to spoil somebody, all because everybody plays to the end. It's going to be exciting, but this is an important divisional game with these two teams in the lead, Browns and the Patriots. Um, I'm calling this one even, uh, and I'm going to predict a tie. How about that? Uh, in that game. And then uh, we've got Kansas City out in the AFC West going against Denver. Feels uh, Denver Broncos are 6-4. and four. Uh, Connor's slipping a little bit at 8-2. and two. He's not favored this week either. Um, uh, Denver's got a plethora of uh, interesting players uh, that can really put up some points. Uh, I'm going to go Denver on this with by six points. And if that happens, Denver's going to go to 7-4. and four. KC's going to go to eight and three. Denver will be one game back. Uh, so, so great things uh, happening there in the AFC West. Baltimore plays Detroit. Uh, one of these teams will be a spoiler the remainder of the season, the team that loses, I believe. Detroit does have this inside shot, Nico's lines, where if he were to lose and certain things were to happen in the NFC East, uh, he could still be in the hunt for the title. So uh, uh, just a mess out there in the NFC East 
as everybody's really close. And then finally, the Raiders and the Oilers. Oilers looking strong too. Um, uh, and I'm going to have to go with the Oilers in this one. They're favored by about 30 points. Uh, Prentice is uh, falling off here. I think he's lost maybe three of the last four games. I might be wrong about that, but uh, uh, the Raiders started out hot. Uh, they're going to have to uh, put it in that last gear here with the last three games. Uh, they are 5-5. Five and five. They're mathematically not out of the title yet, but a long uphill ride there, and they have to start by beating the Oilers. Uh, I take the Oilers in a win. So if uh, this does happen uh, the way I'm calling it, uh, both uh, KC loses and Denver and the Oilers win, uh, that division is going to be 8-3, and 7-4, and 7-4. And and uh, uh, if the Bears beat the Packers, and uh, uh, I just can't see, I can't see the Giants losing this week. That'll be an uh, upset of the week for sure if uh, the Giants uh, uh, get beaten by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, but assuming that the Giants win this game and the Packers were to lose and the Bears were to win and then uh, Detroit was to win, uh, it'd just be another mess there in the NFC East. And then uh, we've also got the AFC East, uh, the Pats and the Browns battling it out. Uh, so uh, here are the standings really quick. Enjoy your week of football. Um, I'm going to try to focus in on this. There's your rankings in the NFC East. And there is your rankings in the NFC West. AFC and AFC. All right, guys, have a great week. I did want to explain something to you, and that is the spoiler award and the playoffs, so you'll understand better. The top tier eight teams will play. They are guaranteed to play all three rounds uh, all the way through. Uh, the second tier is by elimination, so the first the first round in the second tier will be the eight bottom teams, even the spoiler award winner, <clears throat> uh, because the spoiler award winner will be determined at the end of the regular season. But those eight teams in the bottom tier, they're going to play in the first round. Four are going to win, four are going to lose. In the second round, you're going to have four teams. It's going to be two games, and uh, two are going to lose, two are going to win. The two that win uh, the first and second rounds and make it to the third round do not play each other for eighth and ninth. They get a shot against the top tier teams that lose the first two rounds. So you can literally be 15th, 16th. Uh, uh, that's probably not going to happen, but let's say eighth, ninth, or 10th. I'm sorry, ninth, 10th, or 11th. And you have a really good shot of making the top eight board because if you win in the third round in the lower tier, if you win the third round against that top eight team, uh, you will come in either 7th or 8th place. Uh, we value the top 8 board here. And so uh, that is the way that the playoffs work. And, they, of course, in the t top tier, uh, you, you advance toward uh, the championship game and you play consolation. You can finish 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. Um, but the 7th and 8th, the two teams in the top tier that do lose uh, uh, both 1st and 2nd round stand a chance to lose their top 8 board standing. As far as the spoiler award, that's really up to the commissioner to decide. I've got some little numbers on the main league page you can look at that determine. Um, help me remember how well somebody played and uh, moves they made. I make my little notes. And uh, so you'll know a little bit more who's indeed in the spoiler race after this week for sure. Have a great week, guys. Good luck in your games.